we are saying there are a lot of pressing issues that the uh, National Assembly should consider. Those pressing issues have been, and youths have said, one, that the rate of unemployment is increasing and the young people are not getting the opportunity. They were promised a lot of those opportunity, be it in terms of Kazim Tani, be it in housing, uh, where the president said that uh, uh, the, 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 the levy must uh, uh, be upheld to ensure that the young people are getting jobs. With even those construction, we are having thousands and millions of young people who have no jobs. So those pressing issues are the issues that uh, the National Assembly should consider. Number two, we want to know that the deals that we are getting into, we have a SHA deal, transition of the NHIF to SHA, and we understand that even the constitution of that board is chaired by a foreigner. There was no public participation to hear our views as young people. So we are saying that uh, that is a pressing issue to us because health is wealth. There is also another pressing issue in terms of the opportunities that the people have been getting. Look at the Kenya Airports Authority. That is one of the profit-making parastatals in the country. Yet you want to lease it out without proper public participation to eternity. That ideally, Adani is coming in. We don't know who Adani is, whether he is a prime minister of some I India, whether he is a sheikh in some, 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 some Dubai. So these issues, there was no proper public participation like the one that we are having now. And we want the government to focus on that. And there is a rumor. And that allegation, we are really fact-finding if it is true. Largely, the skewness of that is that it's true that most of uh, the young people who are being ferried or people that are ferried to public participation forums are funded. So if the government really funded this program, then it is not about the public. It is about a specific person's agenda who has resources to let the deputy president go home. Now, my view and what I've seen is that... Uh, Based on those allegations that the National Assembly have appended more than 290 signatures, maybe 291, it means they are not giving that person any chance. Uh, if he was being given a chance, then maybe a minimum of 117 plus will have appended. But when you see 291, it means that the die is cast. So it will definitely pass the National Assembly. But even as they pass it, we as young people, we want to categorically tell the members of parliament that we are not with you in that fight. So if you are doing it, just know you are doing it on your own. You are not doing it in terms of representing the views of the common manainchi. But again, it will go to Senate. Again, senators have been talking a bit sober. They are saying we cannot be a judge on uh, issues that have not reached to us. But looking at uh, the kind of politics that we are in now, and kind of party clusters, like uh, maybe a UDA or ODM or something clusters, I think when it goes political parties uh, uh, way, it will definitely pass the Senate. But again, the constitution is very clear uh, about removal of the deputy president. He can still seek solace at the uh, court, uh, court's corridors. What I know for sure is that the members of parliament, the way they were determined, the way they have signed that allegation, they are going to vote in favor of impeaching the deputy president, which, in our view, we've not been given appropriate uh, uh, time to, to look at those issues because a deputy president and a president, those are the highest officers in Kenya, and you cannot just remove them by 300 people.